Hello everyone, good evening, hi, lovely to see you. I'm Vivian Life Transformed and welcome to my Winning Wednesdays with Vivian Life Transformed and yeah, I'm just here to help you to learn some health tips to hopefully help improve your life, your quality of life and I'd love to know where you're actually listening in from so please say hello in the comments and if you're finding value from what I'm talking about in a moment please do like it and also share it with other people that you think would um, you know gain benefit from it as well so that's my aim is just to bring some value to you and to help you to learn some health tips so today I'm going to be talking about gut health so a healthy gut is a healthy body and a healthy you so did you know that 70% of our immune system is actually controlled by the gut that is a fact so it's really really important to have a healthy gut and if you don't know what the gut is that's basically our gastrointestinal tract um, hi Claire nice to see you thank you for watching um, so it's everything really from when you take food in uh, and going all through your system passing out at the other end so uh, think of it like um, a bath full of water and it's everything that's in there and then being washed down the plug hole so as I said 70% of the immune system is actually managed by the gut so what what is going on there so uh, the gut actually has uh, what we call a microbiome this is where it's got a plethora of bacteria and some of those bacteria are good guys and some of them are they're not good guys hi Kath how are you I haven't seen you in ages I hope you're well thank you for coming on so it helps this microbiome is like a rainforest really so it's a really um, needs to be sort of kept on a good balance and kept in good shape to function well and when it's functioning well it helps to um, aid effective digestion it helps to release serotonin the happy hormone and as I said before it manages 70% of the immune system there's actually thousands of species of bacteria um, in our gut and also there's trillions absolute trillions of actual bacteria so about a thousand species but trillions and trillions of actual bacteria and you know in in the ideal world where we're all eating in a really healthy way then our gut would be flourishing but in our Western world we put all sorts of pressures on our body and that's in a number of different ways it's not just by what we eat but the way our lifestyle is running around um, getting stressed not having enough sleep all these things actually do affect the gut as well but one of the key things of course is what we actually put into our gut so things like alcohol um, refined carbohydrates or sugars um, dairy gluten that's found in wheat all these things are things that can irritate the gut and also they're just not friendly to the good bacteria in fact what they do is encourage the bad bacteria to take over so if you can imagine a garden full of beautiful flowers and then if it gets neglected then the weeds somehow they appear and they grow up all around the flowers and they strangle them so just think of it like that so the good bacteria are in there but we keep throwing all sorts of junk into our bodies and then the bad bacteria just flourish they really grow up and that puts a, a quash onto the good bacteria and they start dying off so when that happens we get all sorts of inflammation and aches and pains we might get irritable bowel sy syndrome other digestive problems um, we will find maybe that we get breakouts on our skin or eczema um, there's so many things that are actually affected by this so you know your body might be very sluggish the way it processes food and you might be lacking energy and you might have a low mood so so really not pleasant so if you're finding what I'm saying is useful and it is interesting I'd love you to take advantage of my free guide that I've actually created for you and that's going to be at um, life transformed forward slash healthy gut food uh, is that what I called it yes healthy gut food <laughs> sorry I did have to just check there so you can go and download that because it is free you know just please do take advantage of it um, and also let other people know that it's there and uh, it's, it's there for them to use as well so what that guide is is it's giving you loads of useful information about food that actually help the gut to be 
in a great state and also some recommended meals that you can make with those foods as well so please do share it and yeah please do like my post if you're enjoying it and you are finding it useful so what can we do to help our gut be happy and healthy so what we need to do is actually repopulate this rainforest of bacteria to get those good guys flourishing again hi there Johnny nice to see you um, so we need to be eating really an array of fruits and vegetables, a rainbow, if you like, of every colour possible. So all the different colours of um, fruits and vegetables there are, there's reds, there's yellows, there's greens, there's purple, there's so many different colours of vegetables and all those different colours actually indicate an array of different vitamins and minerals that are actually contained in them. So we need to be eating a really vast cross section of these um, vitamins and minerals for our gut to be healthy and also um, you know all those vitamins, sorry the fruits and vegetables then, they will contain lots of fibre in them and the fibre in those fruits and vegetables is really good for helping the good bacteria to flourish again. Uh, they, they give it a helping hand. So yeah, so, so that's what one of the things that we need to do. I'm just going to tell you a little story actually that I found here. Let me find it. Um, it is about a study on a Tanzanian uh, hunter-gatherer tribe known as the Hadza. Researchers found that the western gut microbiome is about 50% less diverse than theirs. Amazingly, these tribes people have access to over 8,000 different plant foods and on average in their lifetime they eat about 2,000 of these plant foods. So they have a really vast um, array of different fruits and vegetables they're eating. I don't think we've got anywhere near that in our greengrocers, our supermarkets, even in our farm shops. Um, we just don't have that abundance in this country and that's including the fact that we actually import so many different things but you know make an effort to find different things to eat each week to add variety to your diet because your gut will actually thank you for it um, another thing that you can make sure that you eat to help the gut is sort of whole grains so complex carbohydrates they also feed the, um, the bugs feed the bacteria, they develop and it helps them to develop short chain fatty acids which the body needs for many functions. So um, these whole grains again they're full of fibre and they break down very slowly and they are a feast for these bacteria. So um, wholemeal bread, brown rice, wholemeal pasta, um, Jacket potatoes, eat the skins, you know, that's where the fibre is. And if you can, don't peel your fruit or vegetable because the fibre is actually in those pieces. Um, also things like legumes, so that's the peas and beans, all those peas and beans and chickpeas, that sort of family. Uh, the seeds, seeds are absolutely a powerhouse of a food type with loads of omega-3, uh, loads of protein, loads of good fats and also fibre and same with nuts as well. So they're really really good for you and actually in a vegetarian or vegan diet, a vegan diet in particular, in, in particular all those things are so good because they deliver complete protein so they will give the body everything it needs to function really really well in terms of protein and um, it will enable you to feel full as well because it's very satisfying and they're uh, quite nutrient dense. So what types of foods um, can help us in improving our gut? Well all sorts of things really um, but you do need to eat quite a lot of them so make sure you're getting things like garlic, onions, leek, banana, okra, that's lady's finger, um, cauliflower, broccoli, artichokes and chicory root. Chicory root actually holds water and that's just reminded me actually because um, we need water in our diet as well to help that microbiome flourish. Um, hi there Susan, thank you for watching. Um, and also um, the water then helps to move everything through the body well as well so it keeps our digestion uh, system sort of really functioning well. So um, yeah that's really all that I had to say today so it's really about just making sure that we're not killing off those bad, those good guys and we're not letting the, the, the baddies flourish like the weeds around the flowers. So let's get ourselves in a better state and 
start feeling more energized, start feeling more lively in our minds, feel fresher in our minds, start feeling, um, you know, seeing aches and pains diminish, um, things like that. So let's start seeing that in our bodies by changing, just tweaking what we're actually eating and getting a better balance. So, as I said, if you um, have enjoyed this live, if you found it useful and interesting, hopefully a little bit entertaining and you've learned something, then please do like it, share it, enable others to learn from it so that we can help other people too. So the more people that see this, the better. Um, I'd love to help as many people as I can. And if you would like my quick reference guide of key foods to feed the good guys and some great meal ideas, you can go and get it at Life Transformed Healthy Gut Food. And it's it's free, so go there, download it. I've created it and it's for you. So just go and get it because it is free. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to have your feedback. So if you've got any comments on what I've talked about, what did you find most interesting and useful uh, about what I've actually discussed today? And if you're watching on replay, please comment that you're watching on replay. That'd be fantastic. And I'll be back here next week on uh, Winning Wednesday with Vivian Life Transformed at 6.30pm with some more health tips and I'm looking forward to seeing you again then. So have a lovely evening and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.